Join us as we ride from Hot Springs to Mina through Oshita National Forest. Starting out going west on Highway 270 and west again on Highway 88. The Arlington Resort Hotel and Spa at the north end of Bathhouse Row. This was Al Capone's favorite room in the hotel, room 443. This spring is at the north end of Bathhouse Row, one of the many springs in town. Bathhouse Row has eight buildings that were originally all bathhouses. The eight buildings and the promenade were designated as National Historic Landmarks in 1987. Of course I had to experience the famous hot springs. I did this at Buckstaff Baths. I even got a discount with it being off season. The creek, which is the hot springs today, runs under Central Avenue and under Bathhouse Row. Most of the natural springs have been capped to keep them clean. We are riding west on Highway 270 in the Oshita National Forest. I have tried to find natural hot springs in Arkansas and have not been able to do so. However, in the town of Hot Springs and Eureka Springs, there are bathhouses and spas that you can enjoy the hot springs in. The town of Joplin. Joplin is known as a good access point to Lake Oshita. There are marinas, resorts, and campgrounds at the turnoff by the store. Campgrounds in the Joplin area are not recommended for large trailers. This is another turnoff to resort and camping at Lake Oshita. This is not as busy as the Joplin area. We are going over Gap Creek. Going over a small finger of Lake Oshita. Lake Oshita is Arkansas's largest lake. It is surrounded by Oshita National Forest and is clear enough to scuba dive in. This is Twin Creek. the small town of Lake Oshita. It has a store, gas station, motel, and church. Typical of many of the small towns we have ridden through. This is where the Mount Ida Municipal Airport is. This is at least the second rock shop we have passed, and there are more on the map off the main road. There are 10 stores where you can buy crystals, gems, and minerals in the area we are riding in today. Some of the stores have their mines nearby where you are able to dig for your own. Some of the mines advertise that you are guaranteed to find your own quartz crystals. Rogers Creek. On Google Maps it says there is camping here, but I think it is just the ranger station. I'll put a link in the description below that has the campgrounds in the National Forest. The town of Mount Ida. Granville Whittington ran the first general store and post office out of his log home in 1842. He came from Massachusetts and named Mount Ida after a hill near his former home. In the 1880s, there was a silver mining boom. 
1920, Mount Ida had nine general stores, seven specialty stores, six mills, and three hotels. Riding over the South Fork of the Oshita River. This comes off of the South Fork of Lake Oshita, not off of the Oshita River. The Oshita River. This is the bigger and main river going west of Lake Oshita. The river zigzags beside us until we cross it again right before entering Mina. Oshita River is in the valley below us. The town of Pencil Bluff. We are turning left on Highway 88, which is west towards the town of Mina. We are riding over Polk Creek. And now, Big Brushy Creek. The town of Odin. In the 2010 census, Odin had 232 residents. Henry Bashirs settled in Odin in 1849. His friends from Mississippi joined him shortly after in 13 ox-drawn wagons. Later, a third wagon train came and joined the community. Hunting in the area was good and they cleared some land to plant some corn. In 1931, there was a fire in Odin that destroyed seven buildings. Many farmers and their families moved during the Depression. These two events caused Odin's population to drop, and it never grew as big as some of the neighboring communities. Hole in the Ground Creek. On the right is Lum and Abner Museum and Gift Shop in the town of Pine Ridge. Lum and Abner had a comedy radio show. We are now out of Oshita National Forest. Even though we are out of the forest, it is still pretty trees most of the way to Mina.
riding over Shack Creek. There are many small creeks in this area. We ride over very small bridges over many of the creeks, but there's so little water that we cannot see the water from the road. The town of Cherry Hill. It is an unincorporated community. Cherry Hill has a gas station with a cafe and two churches. The settlers in this area grew corn, wheat, oats, and cotton. Hunting and timber were good here as well. This area had mostly yellow pine. Timber is still a big employer in this area. Many farmers also raise chickens for Tyson. We are riding over Cedar Creek. town of Ink. One story of how Ink got its name. In 1887, when filling out a government application, they said please write in Ink. They literally wrote in the name Ink, which then became the town's name. We are crossing over the Oshita River again. This is the end of us crossing over or following the river. It now goes north and we continue west. This is a small corner of Mina Lake we are driving over. We are turning left on Highway 71, which goes west into the town of Mina before going south. The town of Mina. Mina was a railroad town in the late 19th century. It is now a tourist destination with many scenic drives, state parks, and national forests surrounding it. We are taking a detour for lunch, so turning right on Mina Street. A few blocks down, Mina Street turns into Talamina Scenic Drive. There are a few signs in the shops in this area welcoming bikers.
Thank you for joining us for our last ride through the Oshita National Forest, for now anyway. Please hit subscribe and the little bell and you'll be notified for our next video.